the Secret Lake Trailhead to do Devil's Castle this morning. In order to park at this trailhead, you do have to pay $10, and normally we wouldn't, but today, we just felt like doing that. Uh, you could park outside of the toll booth and walk an extra, I think, approximately two miles round trip, uh, depending on which route you take, something like that. It is 7.40 a.m. on a Sunday, September 12th, and the parking lot is pretty empty. Tons of space. Walking through the campground. There are multiple ways to do Devil's Castle. The way that we are doing it today is parking. We parked at the Sea Lake Trailhead. We are headed up a service road to Point Supreme. Then we are gonna traverse Devil's Castle. Hopefully, unless I get spooked or something. Um, and then we're gonna go over the bump. That is Sugarloaf Peak. And then head down back to the Secret Lake Trailhead from there. So the Albion Alps Road is what the service road is called that goes up to Point Supreme. We now have, we're losing our view of Devil's Castle. And over here we have Sugarloaf and back there is Baldy. We have already been to both the top of those before. Um, today we are going to go over Sugarloaf because coming back down, you can actually see the road, there's a nice gentle road versus coming down from the saddle, it's a little bit steep, so be a little bit nicer on our knees. Alright, made it up to Point Supreme, and this is where we hit the ridge line. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Makes me feel a little nervous about what's ahead. So we've been doing this ridge line skirt. We kind of came down off the ridge line because it got really, really blocky in there. So we've been kind of going along the side. Um, we're headed back up to the ridge line because it's starting to look a little better, we think. It's hard to know from down here. And there's the road that we went up. <laughs> we went all the way up there this way just to come right up here. But that's okay, we're figuring it out. Choose your own adventure. Amy's least favorite activity, steep, loose stuff. <laughs> we came down to that gap, came through here. Pittsburgh Lake down there. It's 
Is that sketchy? No, not sketchy. Got some exposure. Okay, so we haven't moved very far in the last half an hour. <laughs> so there's the top of what we were on and then we came around here and then down climbed this. Um, <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot of exposure there. And uh, I did think about turning around, um, decided to go through it and it, uh, wasn't too bad. It's easy climbing if you're an experienced climber, but uh, it's not without consequence. It's nice, to, yeah. So like, it's uh, there's a couple of spots there with some real exposure. Yeah, you just got to know the risks that you're taking, and I'm at the edge of my comfort level right now. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, continuing on. Let's do it. First time using ultras as climbing shoes. They're actually impressing me. So there's Secret Lake down there. There's this trail that's very steep. Uh, we've taken it before. And we weren't thinking about going down it because we're like, ah, oh, it's really steep. But the other alternative is to go up this, hit up Sugarloaf, go down the backside and then take the more gradual road that you can see way over there on that side of the lake, but I think we're just gonna do this. It's just gonna be slow and steep. Yep. There's a big chubby marmot <laughs> squeaking his head off at us. Do it again. There's Carson, and there's Secret Lake. All right, so we started right up there where you can see Point Supreme. Took this ridge line and up there, up there. And then, oh, we didn't do show you love. We came down on this side to Secret Lake and now we are there. All right, we are back at the car, back at Secret Lake Trailhead. That was Devil's Castle. According to our watch, to my watch and our, and Gaia, we, the whole thing was somewhere around 4.6 to 4.9 miles. Also apparently it was only like 1,600 feet of gain. 
which doesn't feel right to me, but maybe it is. <laughs> um, I guess it's just because it's slow going and takes a lot of mental capacity. Uh, it just feels like a lot more than that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it took us, doo -doo -doo, where is it? I think it was like four hours, slightly over four hours. And yeah, that was Devil's Castle. Finally got it done. Devil's Castle is not a normal, typical hike. It involves scrambling and climbing and a fair amount of exposure. So if you do want to do Devil's Castle, just understand the risks, do your research. Uh, it is up to you to accept that risk or say, no, screw that, I'm not doing this. Uh, but it's very important that those are things that you look into or think about for sure. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. We are headed up to Secret Lake Trailhead to do Devil's Castle this morning. <laughs> oh shit! I mean, the con the just with the consequences is really high. I'm I feel like I'm just rambling. I don't know how to <laughs> get out what I'm trying to say.